The resource refactoring tool, which you can get for free from the Visual Studio Gallery, make sure you find the 2010 version, simplifies one really annoying part of the job of internationalizing and localizing an application. That is, if you go to a demo on internationalization and on localization, they will show you how to uh, take a button, for example, on a form and make it so that it says uh, OK or save or quit or post or what have you in uh, a resource so that you can give the resource file to a translator and then the application will uh, say save or post or whatnot in a different language when it's run under different settings. And they'll tell you over and over again, don't have hard-coded strings, quote, the file was not found, unquote, uh, in your application because this makes internationalization so much more difficult. But the fact is many of us do have these hard-coded strings throughout our applications. We don't start from scratch writing them as string resources. And should the day come when you need to translate the application, these are going to kind of be the bane of your existence. So the resource refactoring tool is designed to simplify this part of the job. Let me just show you how it works. I have an application here which has some hard-coded strings in it. And you can uh, imagine the backstory. You know, the application's running, people are testing it and saying that from time to time messages come up that are still in English even when the whole application is supposed to be in, in French or Spanish or something else. And what you need to do as a developer is to add a resource into the application uh, and then change this code so that instead of using the string, it uses the resource. And the resource refactoring tool just makes that job a little simpler. So let's take this string down here at the bottom, temp string is. Uh, if I right click it, I have the refactor menu. This is C sharp, so I always have a refactor menu, but it has an extra item on it. And this tool works in Visual Basic as well, so the refactor menu just appears in Visual Basic code now. I choose Extract to Resource. This dialog comes up saying, uh, what are we doing here? Uh, let's say we're just going to change this instance of temp string is uh, to a resource. I'm going to put it in the file resources.resx. This shows me what's in resources.resx right now, which is nothing. So I'm going to need to create a new resource entry. And it offers me a uh, particular name, temp string is, sure. And it's going to preview the changes. When I say OK, the preview here shows me the change it plans to make in my application. Take away the hard-coded string and put in using the resource. Looks good. I say OK. And that's exactly what it does. And so you could go through your strings a bit at a time. It's a lot less work than the other way around. Where you really start to save some time and trouble is when you have strings that are similar to each other. So if I take this hello and extract that to a resource, and again, uh, call it hello and create a new one. And the preview shows what it's going to do, so I say OK. Now I have this here. Then I have another hello, which was with a lowercase h. When I extract this, and I'm going to choose all instances in this source file, a couple things happen. The first is I've got a warning flat here. A resource name already exists. As well, this grid of resources that I already have indicate that the hello I already have with a capital letter is very similar. So what I can actually do is I'm not going to create a new resource entry. I'm just going to use the one that I already have with the value of hello with a capital H. And say OK. The preview shows me the two places that are now going to be changed to use the resource. And now I have uh, not only taken some of the drudge work out of internationalization and localization of this application, but I've also gained some consistency in my error messages or my other whatever these hard-coded strings are. You might have one that says file not found, the file was not found, and so on. And it's a benefit for everyone in every language if you get those messages a little bit more consistent. And that's one of the things that happens as a result of using uh, resources and, and detecting similarities. It's a single purpose tool, but if you ever have to do the interna internationalization and localization work uh, on an application, you're going to be glad you have this single purpose tool. It works in Visual Basic, it works in C Sharp, it works for Windows Forms, WPF, Web, business logic that returns you know strings of any kind, uh, services, web services, any project type whatsoever because it's just finding strings in code. 
Of course, you still have to take that resources.resx file and set to work actually you know, making different versions of it for different languages. It doesn't translate for you, but the mechanical uh, replacement of hard-coded strings with calls to resources, it does that very nicely.